Tight bond wood glues, quietly keeping woodworking projects together for over 70 years. Hi, I'm Bernie Conover, and today I'm going to show you a very handy veneering technique in which you can veneer up to about a one foot square area with a PVA glue and a household iron. We're going to use Tight Bond Original in this case, but you could also use Tight Bond 2 if you wanted it to be waterproof. Uh, tight Bond 3 we're going to set aside for another task. Today we're going to use the technique to edge band this piece of three quarter inch plywood, which I uh, band sawed uh, to a curve, and then I fared that curve with a compass plane. I then found a nice sheet of curly maple veneer and uh, ripped a one inch wide strip off that's just a little bit longer than what I need to cover. Now I'm going to put some glue in a cup like so. And we're going to dilute that glue about 10%. Not too much water, just enough to thin it down and make it spread a little easier. There, that's perfect. Now we'll take a brush and just put that line of glue on like that quickly. Same here, we're going to brush a little along like that. And now we're going to take a device called a brayer, which is just a rubber roller. And that will allow us to roll that glue out into a very uniformly thick layer, like so. Same we'll do over here. And we're now going to let that glue dry. Uh, if somebody's birthday is tomorrow and uh, it's already 9 p.m., a hairdryer or a heat gun will speed this process up. Now our glue only needs to be dry to the touch. And we're now going to do this same process again. We're going to put another coating of glue on both surfaces like so. And we're going to take our brayer and roll that out into a nice uniform coat. And we're going to let that dry and we're going to do it a third time. Three coatings of glue to do this the best. There we go. Dry to the touch and we're ready now to iron it down. Now uh, you can let this uh, sit uh, like this for up to about two days and successfully iron it down. If you wait longer than that, it probably won't work very well. So without further ado, I'm just going to lay this down like so, and working from the center outward with an iron set to a pretty warm setting, uh, usually cotton. And I, I want this to be warm but not hot. I should be able to touch it without burning myself and not burn the wood at all. Another technique that works well is to uh, put a very slightly damp cloth over this because you get a little steam that way and it lays the veneer down uh, a little better and keeps the veneer from drying out too bad. Now I'll use a veneer saw to uh, trim the ends flush like so. Once I've uh, trimmed the ends, I'll use this uh, flush trim router. Just do a little, very little bit of light sanding here. There we go. Some tight bond original and a household iron. And we've got a great edge banding on this piece of plywood. 